guys, it's week three of my house vlogs. It's actually already Tuesday night. I didn't do a good job of vlogging anything the past couple of days. Uh, I wanted to vlog tonight because one, I wanted to give you an update. Oh, my battery is dying. Oh, I just started filming. No. Okay, there we go. I just changed my battery. Um, I wanted to film today because I wanted to give you guys an update on how Mac was doing. I also wanted to do an episode of What's on My Feet. Actually, I was really excited about today. These were the pools. And I love these two socks. Chucky and Hermione. Or as I like to used to call her, Hermione. And then I also wanted to give you guys an update on my nails. I saw that, oh, why am I blurry? I saw a lot of you guys make comments about my fancy nails. I did get fancy nails because I went to a wedding this past weekend. I only get my nails done when I go to fancy weddings. And then the funny thing is, is that I, I don't mind them. Actually, this time I didn't mind them. I got ombre. I'll show you guys. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You can already tell that my nails are growing out from underneath it. So I bite my nails. So I have to get fake nails because I don't have any type of long nail whatsoever. So these are acrylic. I usually get French tip, but the lady at the nail, the nail place was like, oh, you want ombre? And I was like, I don't know what that is. She's like, oh, it'll look really good. I'll, I'll make you spicy. I'll make you real spicy. And I was like, okay, just do whatever. I'm... One of those people that just like, I go in to get something done and I don't want to make any decisions with it because I don't know what the heck. I didn't know what was going on. I was like, all right, just do it. So she did these and they actually turned out really nice and they're not super long and they're kind of like a mixture of like square and curvy. But as you can see, my pinky and my other pinky, um, here's the thing guys. My favorite part about having my nails done is like after a few days when I can start trying to yank them off, which I know is really bad, but I've always had a fascination with trying to get all of my nails off. It's like the weirdest feeling, because you're like, ah, oh, this hurts really bad, and then you get it off, you're like, oh, I got it off. But, um, so yeah, my pinky ones came off. The reason it did is because one of these chipped earlier, and I was like, oh, it's really sharp now. I better just pull it off. Um, but now my finger, my nails are super sore because I literally like, I was like, and I ripped it off my finger. So I'm going to try to not do that with the other ones so that I can have somewhat of a fancy hand. Not this one, just these. Not this one, just these. But we'll see how it goes. I'm sure throughout the next couple of days, I probably, I'm pretty sure by the end of the week, I don't necessarily foresee myself having these. You know, it's really hard to type on a keyboard with these as well. It just, it's just like, I'm just not used to having to worry about anything on my hands or fingers. Like, I'm pretty like, I don't know. Anyways, um, but I don't mind them. These ones actually were really nice and they turned out really nice and they turned out way fancier looking than I would have ever expected. But I'm not that fancy. Don't think I'm fancy, guys, because that was way beyond my fancy level. If anything, if I was going to spend money on anything, I would rather just get massages. Like, instead of just getting my nails done, I would rather just get a massage. Yeah. The whole time she was doing this, I was like, oh, I can't wait to get, I can't wait to try a taco from next door. Because the, there was a Mexican restaurant next to it, and it had the crispy tacos that I like, crispy beef tacos. So I was like, the whole time, I was like, I can't wait for the tacos. Can't wait for the tacos. That's also how my mind works. I love food. Um, but yes, I am home. I am chilling. I got to go visit my god kids today. One of the best things about living where I am, I'm like way closer to them, which is super cool. And I bought them a few things because they just got their new beds. And they're kind of like these lofty beds with desks underneath. And uh, so I got them each these things that they could put on their desk. Some of them were broken, so we had to return it, but whatever. And yeah, now I, I was hanging out with Mac. I actually just brushed Mac, and look at what came off of him. Look at this. That just came off of him, and, and this too. And this is really big, it's not small. Um, and I put that there, don't think I'm weird. I actually left this here because I think you guys have, I was reading your comments earlier today. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to comment back to people, but I do read all of the comments, just so you guys know. Like, if you write a comment in my comment section, then I definitely read it. But a lot of you guys were like, rub a sock on his face or something, and then like, rub it in the corners. And so, I mean, can I just take that fur ball and like, rub that around the house or something? Will that make him feel better? Um, he's been doing okay. I definitely, it sucks because, you know, especially, I probably should have tried to bring him home on a Friday where like a Friday night where I could spend the whole weekend with him but obviously I've been going to work and then coming back 
Um, but we were just chilling. He's mad at me because I was brushing him and I was like holding him down because like no we need to brush you. I got him from my my hat my other house and he had hell knots in his fur, like just. It was bad, and so I, if you look on the side of him, I cut. I just used scissors and cut the big chunks out that were just all um, knotted, and like it just it wasn't it wasn't really nice. But hopefully he's okay. He's laying over there. I think I can't see over my bed. He's really Mac is kind of a, a scared cat, which is fitting. Uh, he doesn't like sudden noises, which is very similar to me. He's very similar to me. But earlier today. When I was like trying to feed him, I opened up, I was trying to put my recycling bin out and I opened up the window shade and he was terrified. He of like just the, the sudden movement and he bolted upstairs and it was so funny because he was um, around this staircase up on the top and when I found him he was just like sitting on the stairs and he was trying to like peek his head around the corner of the wall. It was the funniest thing. I felt terrible. I was like, sorry, my bad. So he's scared of that. He's also really scared of brooms and vacuums. I think that might be a normal cat thing, but like he, anytime a broom or vacuum is anywhere near him, he'll hiss at it and then he'll run away. Um, but you know, it's been going okay. And, and, and I know a lot of you guys, there's been a mixture of re reviews on the comments about you should have left him there or you, you know you you know he, it'll he'll take like a week or two to acclimate so I'm hoping that within the, the next week or so he acclimates and if he doesn't like I said if I feel like it's just really not working out then I'll bring him back to the other house so he can be with Kitty but it's weird like Kitty's there but they just don't like they tolerate each other when they have to but I don't know but maybe they are best friends I'm not really sure Mac just never really liked Kitty as much as he liked our well, we had a different cat before Twiggy one of my other roommates cats but then she took her and so like ever since then I feel like Mac is kind of just like whatever so anyways Mac do you want to come up here and say hi come here buddy Mac 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 come here here he is come here oh he's over here he's, like, he's tricky tricky come here buddy oh there he is <laughs> He just comes out of nowhere. So we're going to hang out. I was going to film tonight because I really want to try filming at night instead of in the morning. But I'm so tired. So I think I'm just going to go to bed now. It's early. Tomorrow is, is Funko sh Pop-Up Shop Wednesday. And I'm very excited about that. Except for I can imagine something big because all of the SDCC Pops, SDCC, yeah, SDCC Pops are releasing this week. Um, I think on Thursday? And I can imagine they're going to do like a really special release. So we'll see how it goes. Hopefully I can get it. We'll keep our fingers crossed. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking me about trying to get the exclusives for SDCC Pops. And I don't know what my, I, my work schedule is crazy right now, you guys. And I just don't have time to Funko Pop Hunt. I wish I did. I do have a bunch of hot cash that I need to use before they expire. Um, so I'm hoping to do that this week or this weekend and then if I can get my hands there's like you know surprisingly there's actually not too many SDC C, SDCC pops that I want um, I know I'm going for like the nearly headless Nick and the Murney Myrtle and the Skeeter pop and I think there's a Jack Jack pop there's a few of them that I'm going for but I'm trying to honestly not stress myself out regarding pops I'm just trying to like not make it that big of a deal right now because I've got so much going on I just don't have the capacity to like hunt and stress out and freak out and be disappointed about about these Funko Pops so we'll see how that goes but we'll figure it out all right I'm like really tired so we're gonna go to bed I hope that you guys have a great night and we'll see you guys another day this week okay bye say good night good night say good night say good night just say it 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 oh yeah good night there you go all right, on to the next day. Good morning! Look at me vlogging two days in a row. Um, I, gosh, it's a busy morning already. I filmed and I just finished editing my first video and once it's done processing, I'll finish editing my second video. I was able to get the Funko Shop release, which was some crazy cosmic Captain Crunch Funko Pop, which was really cool and it sold out in like two minutes which was awesome. And I got excited because, so when the, last week when they released the four pack uh, Dino from Flintstones of different colors, I was like, uh, and I added it to my car and I was like, no, because it was like 60 bucks. 
And then when I went to check out, it was still in my cart, so I thought for two seconds that I was able, I was gonna be able to purchase that, but then it didn't work because they had sold out of that one. So I kind of regret not buying it, but I kind of don't. I, I like it, but I don't know if it was worth $60. But they did sell out, so you know. Now if I wanna get it, I'm gonna have to like, buy it on eBay. Um, I came down to the kitchen because I am going to try to attempt to make some soft boiled eggs. I went to Target a couple days ago and I bought some eggs because I wanted to be like, oh, I'm gonna cook breakfast, da 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 da. And then I realized like, I didn't get any oil or butter or anything because I, I just don't have any of that stuff yet. So I'm gonna try to make some soft boiled eggs because you don't need any butter or anything like that for those, you just need a pot and I have a pot, which is great. So I'm gonna attempt to do that now. I've never made my own soft boiled eggs. My dad has attempted to make them and they turned out really great, but I've never personally attempted to make them. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try right now and we'll see how it goes. Okay, we're gonna see how successful I am. I put the eggs in. One of them, the one that had like a pretty thin shell, it kind of cracked right when I put it in. So I put another one because I wanted to make three. So I'm gonna cook it for six minutes and then I'm gonna take them out and put them in this ice bath for a couple minutes. And in theory, I should have a soft boiled egg, in theory. We'll see how that works. I'm not quite sure. This is literally the first time I've ever done this, so I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. We'll see. Okay, here's my first attempt. I didn't do a very good job at cracking the egg, but you know, we can't be perfect. So in theory, we want a yolk that's somewhat runny. Oh. I overcooked them a little bit because you can see that there's, well for my liking, you can see that around the edges we got kind of a, almost like what a hard boiled egg looks like, but for the most part the inside is runny, which is amazing. Now, usually when I eat soft boiled eggs they're like marinated eggs, like ramen, but for this purpose I think I'm just going to do a little bit of salt and pepper. I don't have any smoked paprika either, which sucks, because I would love some smoked paprika. Ooh, that would probably be so delicious. Oh, that was a lot of salt. Oops, that's okay. I, if you guys don't know this about me, I love salt. Let's try it out. They're definitely a little bit over. I like my yolk's really runny, in general. That's why sunny side up eggs are my favorite. But, for my first time, this is pretty good. So what I think I might try to do is get, you can get like, you know, ramen eggs, where basically I make my soft boiled eggs, and then once they're peeled, I put them in a cold marinade for overnight, and it helps marinate the, the white of the egg. Um, like my dad does soy sauce ones, I think. I think I might look up a recipe for ramen eggs and try that. Mm. Delicious, yes, that was really good. I think I might eat one more for breakfast, it's breakfast. All right, I gotta eat this and then get ready for work. Okay guys, it's Saturday, T's here. She got to see the house for the first time, really? Really T, they haven't seen you in forever. Actually, this I won't be the first time. Right this, like, no, I don't. <laughs> What's up, guys? Nerdy new. No, we are sitting here. We're watching Thor Ragnarok. Charlie's with us. Mac is a little bit skeptical of Charlie, but Charlie's chilling. Like Charlie doesn't care. We're hanging out. We're drinking San Pellegrinos and eating Doritos. We're actually gonna film some videos in a little bit. I think we're gonna film um, this GameStop box because I know what's in it, and then. I sorted through all the boxes that I got today, so I have to do a lot of filming. I actually don't know what box T would really like, because a lot of these are Funko Pops and T doesn't like Funko Pops. Those are the best. She's lying. But. They're good bath toy? Is that what you just said? A bath toy T? Really? I'm just kidding. They wouldn't really make great bath toys because they wouldn't like, they would float, but they would like stand on top of the water. I'm sorry, the movie's, the movie's really loud. Anyways, we're gonna film a little bit and then we're gonna maybe play some video games or something, something of that sort. Okay, that's it, goodbye. It's officially a party here. T's here still, Dana's here. She just, I just showed her how excited I was 
for my for my new underwear. And then I look over and she's using my underwear to clean her can. You don't even have to clean these cans. There's she's, foil. There's foil over the can. She said she didn't wear it yet. Yes, I didn't, but she was like, just like, I'm like, why you don't no, don't use my brand new underwear. <sighs> Why didn't you have this balloon in your background? Oh, your because yeah. it doesn't stay anymore. Oh, does it? Does it Do you want to take it home with you? Yeah. Because I was going to throw it away, but I knew you really wanted it. <laughs> T uh, it it oh, it gosh. <laughs> Dana brought that over. Look how, like, sunburnt. Or my face is weird. It's because I was out in the sun all day yesterday. Um, Dana brought this yay balloon the first day that they came over to check out the house. And, uh, and then she left it here, and then I was like, oh gosh, what am I supposed to do with it? But she's gonna take it home now, so that's good. Mm. T and I just finished filming a few videos. We did Lou Wear, we did Smuggler's Bounty, and then we did my um, NES Classic. And I'm being a really nice friend, and I gave Dana my cosmetic bags, because she probably will use them more than I will. But I really do like this one. I like the Dilophosaurus. That one's my favorite. And then, as you guys might have seen, I did give T some of the stuff from Lou Wear, so. And Charlie is just still, still playing. Maddie got to meet Mac for the first time upstairs. I don't know what she's doing now, but she's hanging out upstairs. Hopefully she knows how to turn all the lights on. Let's go see what she's up to. Hi, Mac. Is Mac hanging out with you? Yeah, he's a little bit jumpy sometimes with new people, but come here, bud. Kinda, um, come here, bud. Mac. Like Diddy. Mac, come here. Mac, come on. Mac, come on. Mac. He, but he sniffed at me. Mac, come here. <gasps> hey, bud. Hi. Hi. Hey, buddy. You're fine. Just relax. See, you guys, I had to cut. Mac had a bunch of knots in his hair, so I had to cut all of his fur off. So he has this giant chunk of fur missing from his side. But he's fine. It doesn't hurt him. What do you think, Maddie? I like him. I don't know if you like me that much. Well, Mac takes a while to get used to people. He doesn't normally see a lot of people, so he gets he's sometimes a little bit shy. But he's doing pretty good. Mac is still a little bit mad because there's Charlie's downstairs. So like Mac's like, what the heck? Why is there a dog in my space? But he's actually been doing well. He's been hanging out up here and just like chilling on the landing. And yeah, he hasn't really uh, done much. He does look angry. Why so angry, buddy? Why so angry? You got like flippers in and stuff? Yes, I just got that one, but I got that one already before, I think. So I got the alligator and the what is gold. It, the golden cow? Yeah, I think so. It's a gold cow and the green alligator. And then do you see my Pua and Hey Hey Funko Pop that I just got? Right here? Yeah. From Moana. And then I got my flocked <coughs> Sully, so he's fuzzy. Frozen. Flocked. <coughs> so, that was Maddie hanging out with Mac. She's gonna continue. I hope they become best friends. That would be great. I don't know. My mom my mom brought this paper. It's like old ugly wallpaper and she wanted to line all the drawers. So you go in my kitchen and you open up these drawers like what is that? It's like little flowers and stuff. No, it's ugly. I don't even know what those are. Why did she do that? Did you to choose which one? No, she did it. Luckily, she didn't stick it on though. She just so put it. Like, so Asian. Yeah. Uh, my dad brought this then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the group thing. What'd she do that one? See flowers. She did flowers. Why? Uh, Why did she do that? Cause it. Oh look, she, she did all these. She did all these. Did she do everything? Yeah. What? Why is it green? I don't know. Was that already there? Yeah, I didn't put anything. She didn't do in here though. She did put that box in there oh, though. This one's safe. That one's safe. <laughs> no, no. That's paper. pretty modern. But she didn't do any of the shelves or the cabinet. That's the only like. It's not bad, but you know my parents have the keys to this house. But they've been really nice and like. They've been here when I needed people to be here and I couldn't be here. And like my dad brings me fruit all the time because he knows I don't eat fruit. And so he wants me to eat more fruit. Do you eat it? Yes. For the most part. <laughs> there was definitely a couple of things that I didn't eat in time. And then it kind of went bad. 
All right, we've made a mess of the living room. I love how big this box is. But, yeah, you can have as many as you want. I have so many boxes. I can just put it around my thing. What thing? Um, like build a fort? Yeah. Yes. Build a fort. Or like, yes. Yes. Fort in here. Don't like your boxes. I should get those plastic Lego building blocks like, where you can build walls. You know the new ones that they, it's like to build walls. You, oh, it's like yeah, I've seen giant yeah, Lego I've seen plastic pieces and you can like build walls with them. Okay, oh, your dog. Yeah, this box too. Charlie's oh, ball got stuck. Yeah. No, not yet, but you can have it soon. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are gonna hang out and do some stuff because that's what we do. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. oh, this is so old school. Oh, it's so big on this TV. <laughs> Do you know about Mario? I don't know at what point this gets copyrighted. Can she get it to the top? Nice. Can she get it to the top? That's what she said. <laughs> It is the end of the night, my house is a mess. It wasn't even a party, but it was kind of a party. Uh, it was really exciting because I filmed videos with T and I got to film a video with Dana, which was really cool as well. And Maddie stayed upstairs hanging out with Mac the whole time, so that was fun too, because usually the kids get a little bit like antsy when we're not like around them all the time, but this is the one cool thing about this house is like, there's different floors, but we like trust them to just go up and do their own thing, so. She was hanging out in the room that I usually hang out with, with the TV, and she was eating her dino nuggets and hanging out with Mac. She like loved playing with Mac, so. Mm. And Mac liked Maddie, because Mac did not run away from her, and he like laid in the same room as her, so that's my take on if Mac likes somebody, which is super exciting, because I was a little bit worried, because Mac doesn't really hang around kids a lot, like at all, and I didn't know how he was gonna react, so I'm glad that he like, didn't get mad and like freak out because he was mad that Charlie was in the house but he literally just stayed right there while Charlie was here so he just hung out in this level because Charlie didn't come up here so all in all it was a success nothing got spilt on the carpet either which is also a win because I was I let Maddie eat up here because we were filming downstairs which you know isn't like normal but yeah you can eat and uh, have a good time so that's what she did all right I am going to clean up a little bit and then I'm probably gonna go to bed. I'm actually quite tired. I ended up working today because there were some issues, so I went in and, uh, but it was a really good day. Like, I cannot complain about how good the day is. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm like walking around in circles and turning off the air conditioning. Oops. But yeah, all right, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Ah, you guys, I'm so disappointed. Funko sucked terribly this year with their stupid pop-up shop stuff. Um, I really, really, really wanted to get this pop. The, I don't even know how to say his name, but the dude who directed Thor Ragnarok, I really like him, but it sold out. They didn't put their pop-up shop open right at 7.30, and so I got, I was getting confused on like, what, what like if they were putting it on their regular site, like I even opened my computer to open the regular site, because they hadn't updated it, and then, um, when I refreshed it, they updated it, and then it was, like, weird. So, I knew there wasn't too many available of him anyways, but I'm disappointed. I'm getting to the point, you guys, I'll be honest, and I was thinking about making a video about this, is, like, Funko Pops are starting to stress me out, and I hate that. I hate that they're, I hate that they're not super, it's still fun, and I love hunting, but I hate how they, Funko, I mean, let's be real, Funko's getting smart by putting, um, piece, like, max piece numbers for each one, so that they, you know, the demand is there, because especially right now, play, even, tar like, places like, tar like, everywhere sells out now, right? Even Hot Topic, which Hot Topic can never sell out of anything because they just had so many. So they got smart about it, but it's just frustrating as a collector when there's something that you really want and then you just can't get it. And you know that this is about to go online for like a million dollars. So my new goal, and you guys have taught me this, is to like not want it so bad that I jump on eBay and pay way too much money for it. I've, I have like this mental running list of like the pops that I really wanted that I didn't get. And I'm just gonna wait and hope that eventually as time passes, it becomes really cheap. Like once the demand and the like, that ah, we really want it goes away, 
that they become reasonable on eBay. Because, you know, if all these people are buying these to flip them, but then nobody's really buying them and the new things come out, then hopefully they'll have to lower their prices in order to sell. So that's disappointing. I struck out completely this year on the Funko shop, uh, mainly because of my bad. I've been working so much. I just haven't had the time to even like keep track of the Funko shop. I've just been driving and going to work and whatnot. Uh, I really wanted yesterday's and today's, but what are you gonna do about it? It happens, it happens. Sometimes you just don't get things. Uh, and I knew this one especially because it's such high demand. Everyone knows about it. Alright, it's Sunday. I don't know how much I'm going to actually vlog today because I have like eight videos I want to edit and hopefully post a lot of videos because I haven't posted in the past few days. And I want to go hang out with my god kids later and I'm going to hang out with some friends later and I got to go to my parents house later and I got to clean downstairs because I left it a mess and Mac is still here. Mac Attack is back. Jack. Eh, that didn't sound as cool as I thought it was. All right, well, for those of you who were lucky enough to get uh, my dude today, congratulations. I'm jealous, but I'm happy for you because I'm pretty sure that they probably didn't have too many pieces, so good job. All right, let's go ahead and edit some videos. All right, it's Sunday, last day of the week. Ah, I feel like this vlog is gonna be super long because I filmed a lot this week. I feel like it, I don't know if I did or not. But I'm uh, prepping for a live stream. I couldn't figure out where I wanted to do it, but I'm gonna stay in this room because Mac doesn't really like hanging out downstairs and I know you guys want to see him, so I'm gonna hang out in this room so that he can like be in the live stream. And I'm like, just waiting. It's starting at 10, so I have about 18 minutes left. I'm watching Star Wars. They're doing a marathon, I think, because I was watching it last night. And yeah, I made my own tea. For those of you guys who wonder, sometimes, especially now that I bought a house, what I do is I buy like one tea during the week, like the beginning of the week, and then I save the cup and I just make my own tea at home because it's pretty easy to make. And now that I have an ice maker and everything, like I have ice and my tea and I have my, my electric kettle, and then I just reuse the cup. So, that's what I do. I need to get myself like an actual reusable cup, but they don't make a lot of tumblers, like the, the reusable plastic tumb tumblers in 32 ounces, which is the Trenta size. And I guess I could use a smaller one, but I just am so used to like Trenta sizes, you know. All right, we are gonna prep for this live stream. I gotta go pee really quick, and hopefully this, hopefully this setup works. I think I like it with the window right here because it gives me good lighting, and then, you know, I don't know. It's cool, not the best background I know, but eventually I'll be filming upstairs. So I started to bring, my dad was like, he came over and she's like, do you want me to start bringing some of your stuff? Uh, and I was like, um, no, it's okay, I got it, I'll bring it. And he's like, I can I can just bring, I've already packed your, your little Funko Pops up. <laughs> So he had popped, he had uh, packed all of the ones that are on, were on the like headboard thing and put them in boxes and he brought them over yesterday. So I need to go to Target at some point today and get a bookcase, get a couple bookcases so I can build them and then put all of my Funko Pops and I will definitely bring you guys along. I'm so excited. I'm so stoked to have one place to put all of my Funko Pops and to like show them off and just to have them like, I'm so excited about it. So I'll probably say that in my live stream too, but I want to tell you here for those of you who watch my vlog. Okay. Let's prep for the live stream, yes! I am officially bringing up my first set of Funko Pops to the upstairs room. I'm really excited. I don't. I still don't have any shelves yet, but I just opened these on my live stream, and they were on my airbed. So, look at this awful sunglass tan that I have. That's awful. So, here's the room. I think so. Originally, my plan was to put the bookshelves of Funko Pops here so that I could film in this kind of area. I think I'm still, oh, shoot, I almost stepped on that. I think I'm still like thinking about doing that because I really do want to put a sofa on this side. All I feel like this would be a good filming space on this side, but the cable's already hooked up here. So I think I'm still gonna put a sofa here and a TV here, but I still might get some extra bookshelves potentially and put them over here. I'm not really quite sure yet, but for now we're gonna make this the corner, the corner of the collectibles. So it's gonna be bookshelves here, um, probably some small bookshelves along this wall right here. Maybe some bookshelves here, I don't really know. Maybe like a bigger shelf that fits in here. Cause I wanna put my, I don't know if it's gonna fit, but that cool nerdy noob um, sign that, I forgot who sent that to me, but 
on, it was it on Andra, I think? I don't remember. But I'm hoping that will fit somewhere because I want to put that up. Like, that would be really cool in this little space. So, yeah, I don't know. But we've got some Funko Pops. So I got to start sorting it because, like, I have two of these from the Pick a Chase game. So I'm going to leave one here for my collectibles. And then this one, I guess, will stay here for the, um, as my extra. I don't know about the Beverly Marsh. That's kind of an in-betweener. I'm going to slowly start putting them over here so that when I get the bookshelves, I can just put them on. And then we'll try to see what pops we have. I think I might try to, like, log them either on a spreadsheet or something. I know I want to use one of the apps. The apps sometimes, like, are really difficult to use when I'm trying to do things right away. I'm not sure yet. It's a wild mac in his natural habitat. <laughs> okay, well I just want to show you guys that. I'm going to bring some more Funko Pops up here because my dad brought some from my parents' house, from like their house. And so I'm going to start bringing them up there so that they're not downstairs. And then we can get a bookcase, yas! Hey guys, it's Monday. I forgot to close out my weekly vlog yesterday because I was, it got confusing because I was also trying to do my Hot Topic hunt, which we, you guys will see very soon. But I just want to close out this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And uh, I'll be back at it again today, which is Monday. But I'm really excited because I'm starting to now move all of my Funko Pops upstairs. And today, after work, I'm going to drop by Target and get some bookcases. So I will definitely be bringing you guys along each week, day by day, as I slowly build up my, I don't know what to call it yet. Everyone keeps calling it something different. Like a man cave, but a woman cave, but a person cave, but a chill cave, but a awesome area. It's going to be so cool. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you guys next week for another weekly vlog. Yas. Bye.